Josie Bates Balka and her husband Kelton Balka, featured on Bringing Up Bates, are expecting baby number three in early March 2024. They are already parents to daughters Willow, four, and Hazel, two. Fans speculate that she has slyly announced the gender of their third baby, in spite of claiming they will not be finding out until birth. Expanding Bates' family, the announcement of a third baby Balka comes as no surprise given the family size that both Kelton and Josie come from. Josie is number 10 of 19 children in the Bates family. Her husband of five years, Kelton, is the oldest of five children. Longtime fans of the show know that she has always wanted a family. Unfortunately, Josie has experienced some health scares and a prior miscarriage, so it does put a bit of a damper on their hopes for a large family. According to her Instagram, this pregnancy has been progressing well and both baby and herself are happy and healthy. How will Josie reveal baby's gender? With their two daughters, the Balkas did beautiful gender reveals on Instagram. This time around, Josie has stated that they will not be finding out the baby's gender until birth. For Hazel, the couple, along with oldest daughter Willow, shot pink cannons full of confetti in a gorgeous photo shoot. The reveal followed a common theme that mimicked their pregnancy announcement which was also full of confetti. Looking back to their first daughter's pregnancy announcement and gender reveal, another common theme is noted, balloons. In their pregnancy announcement, the pair are photographed together holding large, pink, blue, and yellow balloons that read, Baby Balka arriving July 2019. Her gender reveal consisted of the couple popping large white balloons that contained pink confetti. Balka's third baby was announced through an intimate Instagram reel, featuring the whole family and a precious voiceover from Willow. I have a surprise. Mommy has a baby in her belly. This is a picture of it. Hazel's a big sister now. I can't wait to see it. Love you, bye. The next day Josie posted stills from the family photo shoot, confirming that they were expecting baby number three in March. Or has she already announced the gender? As of yet, Josie nor Kelton have posted an official gender announcement online. However, fans have picked up on something that may be a clue to baby's gender. According to this Reddit thread, there is speculation that Josie has already dropped a hint ahead of the upcoming reveal. The original poster made note of a word change they believe to be an indication that the third little Balka is another little girl. It would seem that she changed her bio from my girls to girl mom. Typically, this phrase is used for moms who have all girls, so it is not a far-fetched theory. Many others in the thread believe it to be nothing more than a simple rewording and feel that the assumption is invalid. What are your thoughts? Do you think that Josie changed her mind about waiting to find out baby's gender and this is confirmation of another girl? Aaron Bates Payne and husband, Chad, of Bringing Up Bates, have welcomed their sixth child into the world. They shared the news initially on Instagram and have since shared a video with all of the details of their birth story. In addition to their new son, William Gage, they are also parents to Carson, 8, Brooklyn, 7, Everly, 5, Holland, 3, and Finley, 1. Keep reading for all of the details that they have shared about Sweet William's birth. Leading up to the birth, in the last few weeks of pregnancy, Aaron shares that their family was plagued with a stomach bug. The children passed it back and forth a bit, and, unfortunately, she did end up contracting it also. In an effort to help out, give her time to rest, and make the end of pregnancy as smooth as possible, Aaron's mom, Kelly Jo, along with younger brother Jeb, flew in to help. The Paines relocated to Florida earlier this year and began renovations on their home shortly after. As you can imagine, this is no simple task. Chad found himself in a bit of a time crunch to get things wrapped up before Aaron went into labor. In their update video, they shared several clips of Kelly Jo, or Granny, as she is affectionately known to her grandkids and the kids. They are seen chatting, reading books, playing with slime, feeding scraps to their pet guinea pig Reese, and meeting the family goats. 
The video starts with a visit to Aaron's high-risk doctor for a checkup on baby William. Prior to this visit, she had already started receiving steroid shots to help develop the baby's lungs a bit faster. This was due to the expectation that the baby would come early, just as her other babies did. Just before this appointment, Chad was able to finish up the rest of his work projects. While they were expecting an early baby, the doctor was telling them that the baby could come as soon as the next week. So the couple rushed to get preparations finished and hospital bags packed in time. Early labor. On October 29 at 9.18 p.m., Chad begins to record as Aaron is having a lot of contractions. I think he's going to come tonight, she says as she bounces on her birthing ball and breathes through the discomfort. Thankfully, older sister Michaela Bates Kalen arrived from Tennessee the night before. Aaron called the timing a sign of providence. Chad encourages his wife by telling her how beautiful she is. It's like you need to go to the hospital and you're like, wow, we didn't know that Barbie dolls have babies. A few hours later, Aaron, Chad, and Kelly Joe make their way to the hospital in Orlando. Aaron is still experiencing contractions that are progressively close together. As they are walking in around 12.16 a.m., Chad states that Aaron is a trooper. The pains are taken back to a trade room where they monitor Aaron's contractions and the heart rate of both mom and baby. During this time, Chad points out that the hospital is great at supporting moms and offering options to ease the discomfort of labor. Aaron takes advantage of the opportunity to sit on a birthing ball. Labor Progression At the time of admission, both Aaron's and William's heart rates were high. Chad informs everyone that he isn't sure why they are high, but the doctors have reassured them that they are both fine. By this point, Aaron is feeling very confident, having been told she's already four centimeters dilated, and thinks that she may forego the epidural this time. Sometime later, she does decide that an epidural to take the edge off is her best option. She tells her husband, I'm not as brave as I wanted to be in my mind. To which he replies, you are brave. You kidding me? You have kids. You're brave. Know who you are. Once she received her epidural, she said, I feel so much relief. Truly, the look on her face said it all. Erin acknowledges that her labors typically move pretty fast once she reaches this point. Much to Erin's delight, her best friend and younger sister, Tori Bates-Smith, made it just in time for the birth. Kelly Jo expresses a ton of excitement as she awaits grandbaby number 27, the fifth to be born in 2023. It's baby time. At 4.10 a.m., we see that Erin is experiencing a lot of discomfort, and she explains that she knows that it's almost time because contractions are now back-to-back. -back. Chad explains that the monitors are having a hard time tracking Erin's contractions and William's heart rate due to position changes and how squirmy William is. In a moment of vulnerability, Chad supports and comforts his wife, as she knows the end of her labor is coming near. Just a short time after, around 5.32 a.m., the camera cuts to Erin as doctors and nurses prepare the room before she begins pushing. Kelly Jo is heard saying, It looks like it's baby time. Erin's sister Tori is standing eagerly behind Chad, recording the birth on her phone. Moments later, baby William is born and placed on his mom's chest. He is covered in vernix and crying as a nurse suctions his mouth and Aaron stares. Bringing up Bates star Katie Bates will soon be tying the knot. She and her fiance, Travis Clark, will get married in December, which means her days as a single lady are limited. To celebrate this special time in her life, several of the Bates sisters got together to have a girl's trip. For those who don't know, Katie is the 11th of Kelly Joe and Gil Bates' 19 children. She just celebrated her 21st birthday. In September 2019, Katie revealed that she was beginning her relationship with Travis. Just under two years later, the couple got engaged after a romantic proposal in Florida. Both sets of their parents were able to be a part of the happy moment. Of course, the bride-to-be is looking forward to her December wedding. 
but for now, she's enjoying some much-needed girl time before she's officially hitched. Bringing up Bates star, Katie has a baccalaureate celebration. On social media this week, many of the Bates women have been posting photos of their celebration for Katie. Carlin Bates Stewart, in particular, provided lots of coverage of how the girls spent these past few days together. The whole group included Katie's bridesmaids, as well as Kelly Joe. Katie's bridesmaids are her sister Josie Balka, sister-in-law Whitney Bates, sister Alyssa Webster, sister Carlin, sister Adelie, and one of her close friends. The girls got to enjoy a spa day, as well as a fun slumber party complete with matching pajamas. They also made pottery together and got all dressed up in coordinating outfits. The ladies seemed to enjoy their time together. In an Instagram post, Katie shared a snap of herself with her bridesmaids, writing, You're my bridesmaids for a day, but my best friends for life. In response to Katie's post, fans are congratulating her on her upcoming wedding and saying how excited they are for her. They hope the girls had a great time together in preparation for the big day. So, what do you think of bringing up Bates star Katie Bates' fun baccalaureate party? Are you excited about her upcoming wedding? Let us know in the comments section below. For the latest Bates family updates, be sure to come back to TV Shows Ace. We will share more of Katie and Travis' wedding updates soon. In case you missed it, there's a special episode of Youptives bringing up Bates to stream.